So the purpose of this video is to provide a quick demonstration on how we calibrate the Cortex system. Prior to attempting calibration, it's advised that we switch the Cortex on for around 20 minutes to allow it to sufficiently warm up. In addition to that, we need to make sure we've got the following equipment to hand. We need a calibration gas canister and demand regulator, the mouthpiece turbine, volume syringe, face mask and headgear, and a heart rate monitor. To help you locate these items, I've included the following picture. So once we're satisfied that the Cortex is sufficiently warmed up and we've got all the necessary equipment, we can go ahead and enter the software. So from the desktop, we're looking for the Metasoft 3 software. And the operator name and password are both Cortex with a capital C. Once we're in the software, we're presented with a number of options down the left-hand side. Initially, what we want to do is head to the calibration tab. The calibration procedure is threefold. So we have pressure, gas, and volume. And I'm going to go ahead and calibrate the pressure first of all. So on top of the Cortex stand, we should have a digital barometer with us. And along the bottom of the display, we should have a reading in millibar. So for example, the pressure in the lab today is reading 991 millibar. So we enter the actual pressure and then click start. So once that's registered, we then hit transfer, okay, and close. We can now move on to the gas calibration. So the gas calibration has two components. The first being an assessment of ambient air. So we need to grab a hold of the white sample line. We usually drape it over the side of the cortex and most importantly, make sure it's away from, from anyone breathing. Once we're happy that it's in a suitable lo location, we can go ahead and hit start gas one. So this will take anywhere between 30 and 90 seconds, providing that the cortex is sufficiently warmed up. This is an ideal time for us to then prepare gas two. So for gas two, we need one of the gas canisters and Essentially what we need to do is match up the batch number displayed on the label of the canister with the batch number of one of the gases within the drop down menu. So for example, I have the gas canister that relates to this 8452418 batch number. So if I select that one, I can be confident I'm using the, the correct canister. Once we're happy we've got the correct canister, we can go ahead and screw on the demand regulator to the top. Once that's firmly screwed on, it's always worth just having a look at the gauge to make sure there's sufficient quantity of gas. If that's running slightly low or you're concerned, it's worth just consulting a member of the technical staff and perhaps ask for a replacement canister. The gas one's now complete. We can go ahead and attach the sample line into the end of the tubing on the demand regulator. And we can go ahead and start gas two. Again, this might take a little bit of time, so I'm just gonna pause the video so you don't have to watch this, this section. Okay, so gas two is now finished, and we can go ahead and transfer those values. So we'll hit transfer, click okay, and close. The final part of the calibration is to calibrate the volume. So we need to grab a hold of the three liter syringe and place into the end of that the assembled turbine. You'll notice that on the turbine there's a slight hole and the idea is that we plug that hole with the sample line. So if we grab a hold of the syringe with one hand and grab a hold of the handle with the other, the idea is that we fully retract the handle and then push it all the way back in with every stroke. For the volume sensor calibration to be registered and transferred, we need to complete five successful strokes. When I hit the start button, you'll see a computer 
demo appear. So a blue line will appear and go all the way out and back in. The idea is that we try and stay in time with that. So let's go for it. Okay, so we've got our five registered strokes. That's the part of the calibration that might take a little bit of practice. So I can now go ahead and select transfer, okay, and close. So that's the three stage calibration complete. In order to then quickly set up for a test, if we head to medical diagnostics, select CPX testing, we're initially displayed this nine panel screen, but we can also toggle with that display with the most common being the standard screen. To then enter our subject details, if we head to this icon, and the idea now is that we enter the data into the blue required cells. Hope this has been useful. Thanks for watching.